All right, what's up, guys? This is Andre or Chokenator, if you know me from my stream, and uh, I'm gonna share with you another one of my practice drawings. Um, of course, I usually end up uh, drawing a lot more than I intend to. These are supposed to be just practice sketches in the morning, but uh, this one ended up uh, taking me much longer. Um, but it ended up being a lot of fun. So you guys will see the end result at the end of this. Um, you can kind of see me kind of sketching the head already and some arms. You're gonna see a bunch of arms in this. Um, anyway, uh, what inspired this drawing is uh, an idea called flow state. And um, a lot of you might know about flow state already. It's sort of a state of mind uh, where you're completely concentrated on something. Um, but it's also fun. And it's a state of mind where you lose track of time. You lose a sort of, you, you kind of lose your sense of self. You become fully engrossed in what you're doing. And it's uh, a state of mind that uh, really makes a person happy. Um, uh, makes a person feel good and feel competent and uh, it's also something that's very challenging while not being too challenging um, or too anxiety inducing um, there's a lot of documentation and a lot of videos you can watch on flow state and what it is but um, anyway the reason I wanted to talk about this is because um, flow state is something that I've been wanting to pursue in art um, so I don't know how many of you guys that subscribe to my channel know but before I was an artist full-time I actually used to be a gamer. Um, I wouldn't call myself a pro gamer, but maybe semi-pro in the sense that I was winning a little bit of money from tournaments, um, a little bit of money from streaming, and uh, I had a, um, a couple sponsors. Uh, I used to play Super Smash Bros., um, several different Super Smash Bros. games like Super Smash Bros. Melee, Project M, and Smash 4. Um, and I, would go, I was going to tournaments a lot, and I had spent so much time in my youth, uh, in high school and early college, uh, practicing that game and getting good at it. And so I tried for a little while to go pro, and um, um, I, I pretty much, when I play that game, I, I pretty much instantly enter flow state. Because uh, games are kind of designed that way. Games are kind of designed for you to be fully immersed in them and really uh, practice your attention and your learning and um, kind of, you know, just use what you've learned. Uh, in drawing, um, I know some people that are really able to enter it easily and you can tell from the way people draw and, and they really enjoy it that um, they probably enter flow state when they're making their art. Like it could be drawing, painting, um, animating, sculpting, it could be anything, um, any kind of art. But for me, I feel like it's not something I achieve, at least not on the level that I enter when I play games because um, first of all, it's easier with games. But also because um, I think I still need to get stronger um, to be able to draw at a level that I desire. And I think with art, because the skill ceiling is so high, um, it's essentially infinite in art. And it's also really open-ended that it's hard to know where the goal is. Um, like, for example, in games, it's easy to enter flow state because you know exactly what your goal is, um, usually in a game. Um, uh, there's some level of personalization with games, but it's pretty much usually like you're just trying to win or you're trying to finish the game or you're trying to master the game or whatever. With art, um, level of mastery is kind of open-ended because uh, it usually ends up looking different for each artist. Um, in the sense that, of course, any, everyone wants to increase their own skill level, but what that translates to is going to look different. Um, it could be, like I said, it could be a different medium like sculpting or painting. Um, or it could be uh, a certain style that you want to achieve. And for me, I think there is a certain style that I want to achieve, and I've, I just feel like I don't have the education and the practice to achieve um, the just visually what I imagine, um, at least not yet. I have gotten better because, you know, I've been doing art full-time in the past four years, but um, I still think there's so much more to learn. There's so much more anatomy I need to study, um, so much more animation that I need to practice in order to get my movement clean. Um, and all the while just doing a lot of commissions and trying to put out content that people like and um, having art as a career is very difficult because uh, having to worry about my income is not the same as studying. It's not the same as improving and getting better. That while I'm doing uh, paid work, um, of course, you know, it's, it's paying for my food and stuff like that, for my bills. But it's not the same as just sitting down and watching a video and reading some books and looking at references and uh, copying the references and learning, you know, just practicing the anatomy. And there's a lot of that that I still need to do. Um, so what you can see that I'm drawing here is myself with a bunch of hands and the flaming eyes. And this is kind of the feeling that I want, that I'm pursuing in art. I want to be able to at least feel like this. Like I'm not really sure what myself, what my art will look like when I reach my peak, when I reach my prime. 
Because I don't think I'm past my prime yet. Not at all. Maybe in gaming. Sure. I may, I, maybe I'm past my prime. But in art, I still feel like there's a long way to go. And it's something I might not be able to reach. Maybe for 10 or even 20 years. Um, and I think it is something that develops with age. I know there are a bunch of artists who come into their prime at you know in their 40s and 50s. And it's something that uh, is not really limited by age. Because it's, it's only limited to like your imagination and what you can produce with your hands. You know, art is not something that's extremely physically taxing. At least not the type of art that I do, which is just drawing. Of course, if I was a sculptor, um, it might be much more difficult, you know, like physically. Um, but I just want to draw. And I think, you know, we've seen very old men uh, and women just continue just making fantastic art well into their uh, uh, later, like later stages in life. Um, so this is something I want to pursue, and I'm not sure when I'll be able to reach this, or even if um, I ever do. Because I bet when I do draw now, there's probably some level of flow state that I'm achieving. Um, but it's not like the maximum level that I've felt when I've played games. And I think it's good that I have that experience in playing games. Um, you know, playing Smash Bros, League of Legends, uh, whatever game that I really got into and tried to master. Uh, mostly Smash, though. Um, that I'm able to recognize when I really get into that flow state. Um, you know, there, like, like I said, there's a lot of books on it, like Inner Game of Tennis um, is one book that people like. Um, there's a lot of books on flow state itself, but it's something that pretty much in any skill, in any craft, it's something that uh, you typically want to achieve. Um, and so I guess what I'm drawing here is almost like a poetic piece. It's me trying to express, like, what is it going to look like when I reach that stage, you know? Um, why did I draw the many arms? I just wanted to, to feel like, you know, what if you're drawing with uh, many arms? <clears throat> like, I've heard that uh, Michelangelo was ambidextrous, like when he was up on a ladder drawing the Sistine Chapel, that he was like using both uh, hands to paint, um, like switching to one arm, uh, the other arm when like one arm got tired. I'm not sure if that's true, but um, it's it's nice thing to think about. And it's, it makes me wonder, like, what if I really exerted myself? You know, um, one thing that uh, is kind of lost um, in modern times uh, is our careers that are physically taxing. I, I guess if you work at like a warehouse or if you're like working at Amazon or something, uh, your career is going to be physically taxing. And there's a lot of jobs out there, um, not just in like fitness, um, but just simply a requirement of the job that you need to be really physically fit and able to do your work. And uh, I guess t typically with art is not something that challenges that part of us. But what if I was drawing like really fast? What if I was drawing so fast that it was actually tiring on my arms? What if I was drawing like, you know how you're viewing right now? What you're viewing right now is actually five times faster. It's at 500% speed. Um, so this actually took me over 15 minutes, uh, 50 minutes to draw. And it's funny because I see like speed paint images of, uh, you know, speed drawing sketch images of people on Twitter and uh, they're like even shorter than this, maybe like 30 or 40 minutes. And they're just at such a high level and super way beyond what I'm capable of. And it's like, man, you know, there's levels to this. Like the better you get, like it's almost like an exponential growth or a logarithmic growth based on how much you practice. Um, and uh, even though, you know, I, I clearly have some level of skill in drawing, but it's still not at the place I want to be. And it's amazing just seeing the levels. It's kind of like, you know, with my past in gaming, when I would enter a tournament, that even if I place, like, let's say I place, like, 17th, the guys who get 5th and uh, and 3rd are, like, so much better than me. And then even the guys that get 1st and 2nd um, on that day are so much better than them. And so there's levels to it. And in art, it's not, it's exactly the same thing. Like there are artists that we look at that we admire and it's not really anything that makes them innately better than us. It's not like some, some talent they're born with. Maybe some people would argue otherwise, but it's not really something I believe in. Um, I just think that that person, you know, took that gift and honed it and refined it and worked at it um, to the point where they're, where they are now. And someone can draw something like this, maybe in a lot shorter time than I can and at a much better quality than I can. Like the decision making in art is um, uh, something that I really want to refine. Um, they say that uh, there, there was a game developer, a game designer that said uh, fun equals, it's like an equation, fun equals the amount of meaningful decisions divided by time. So um, how many good decisions can you make in the shortest amount of time? And that will give you uh, the highest level of fun. And I think that's something, uh, it's kind of a formula that I want to try to stick to. Like in this drawing, I'm making a lot of decisions here. and this some of the decision includes like let's forego some level of detail let's ignore some of the mistakes here just so that i can get this sketch done i want to treat it as such as a sketch um 
and I want to treat it not like it's some kind of crazy serious artwork that I want to demonstrate for YouTube because it's, it's not the goal I just want to like express this idea that I have and make it into a drawing and even then I kind of went overboard with it which is I think is a good sign um, it's one of those things in flow state that happens is that you lose track of time and you lose sense of who you are that even when I was drawing this even though I only planned for it to be maybe shorter than the last one which was only 30 minutes or even 10 or 20 minutes um, I wanted to make it short but I ended up going 50 minutes um, so anyway at the end here uh, you notice that I did uh, the grays in different levels and now I'm just doing hue and saturation passes on him probably you're gonna use some gradients I like using gradients for this kind of stuff um, as a background and then you can see I stop here which is to show the final product so this is where I decided to stop again a decision a clear decision like if you look at this I can see a lot of mistakes a lot of things that I can improve um, but there's like also a lot of anatomy that I think I did well um, and a lot of anatomy that I think could use a lot of improvement and it's not something I can do Unless I go out and study like I got to go and watch anatomy videos Got to get some books grab some books grab some PDFs get a bunch of references reference images and just study them So um, this is probably like what I'm capable of in like less than an hour But obviously I feel like I can get so much better and maybe a year from now I can try another video where I draw for an hour and see what comes out and let's see how much I improved uh, that could be something that, to do in the future. But anyway, that was the video where I talk about like wanting to achieve flow state in art. And that's kind of the endeavor that I've been pursuing like mentally lately in my drawing and in my work. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was a lot of fun to make this. I'm just going to let the few last few seconds run. And that's it. Then it starts over. So yeah, thank you guys for listening. I love you all. Let me know if you like the video or what your thoughts are on it. All right. Peace, guys. Bye-bye.